try to put aside the stories of today and yesterday and tomorrow. Just focus on right now. Sometimes it helps to take a larger view before you zero in on the present moment, because it's easy to carry in the stories of the day and clutter up the mind right now. This is one of the reasons why we spread thoughts of goodwill to all beings in all directions. May all beings be happy. May they maintain whatever happiness they have. If they're suffering, may they be free from suffering. And then there's that final one, an equanimity. When you step back and you realize okay, that the beings of the world will sometimes act on the causes of happiness and sometimes not. I mean, you know it's not just because you wish that people be happy that they're going to be happy. They've got to act on the causes. In some cases they will, in some cases they won't. The people dying and being reborn all over the place based on their actions. Try to step back a bit and get that larger picture. So that the events of today and yesterday, or last week or whatever, next week, don't weigh too heavily on the mind. See things in a larger perspective and you realize, okay, the mind is entangled in a lot of issues. And in a couple of years it's going to be dropping, putting aside. And so the important thing is not the issues per se, is how you react to the issues and what you do, your actions. And where your actions are going to come from, they come from the mind. Is your mind trained so that it can do the skillful thing in any situation? Well, probably not enough. Well, that thought gets you here in the present moment. So before you zero in on the present moment, you want to take a little tour around the universe. Think about all beings in all directions. And how they're, they live by their actions, and when they pass away, they find new lives by their actions. And then you come back in and say, okay, what about my actions now? Okay, I need to train the mind. I need to get the mind more centered. I need the mind to get more solid. So its discernment is sharper. And its willingness and strength to do the right thing. Get on a more solid foundation. So this is how you zero in on the present moment. You take a tour around first, and then you zero in. That way you're not carrying on the carrying the stories or the narratives of yesterday or today or tomorrow into the present moment. You've got the present moment just right here. You in the present moment, you with the breath. Trying to keep the awareness with the breath, trying to keep your mindfulness and alertness with the breath. And that's how you strengthen the mind. That's how the mind gets trained. If any other issues come up that would pull you back to the old narratives, just cut right through them. You said, okay, I've seen what those narrative, where those narratives lead and what they are. This is more important. It's having that sense of priorities and getting the mind trained. That's a lot of what keeps you here in the present moment. To see that this really is going to make a difference in your life, so you want to do this well. And when you do this well, you can carry these skills into the rest of your life.